This tutorial is going to be how to make a fun t-shirt design using both Illustrator and Photoshop. I've got a couple nice photos, well a photo here, a nice photo of a surfer, plus I also have the Nike symbol here. Uh, what we're first going to do is take this photo, I'm going to um, close out of, or just at least hide Photoshop, and I'm going to take that same surfer and I'm going to put it onto Illustrator. Okay, Illustrator is going to come up here. What we're going to do with this is we're going to make a graphic out of that photograph to put on into the Nike logo and then onto a t-shirt. Okay, so this photo is coming up here in Illustrator. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take our selection tool, click on it once, and then we're going to go right next to the image trace. There's a little arrow. I'm going to three colors. What it's going to do is going to average all the three colors together and give me a fun graphic out of this surfer. Okay, looks pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Save As, and just get it saved. So I'm just going to call it uh, Surfer, that'd be good enough. And then I'm going to put it on my desktop, great, just, just so I can get it saved, so I can find it here in just a minute. And just leave it as Adobe Illustrator, great. Okay, now I'm going to go to Photoshop, and well, I can just go to my desktop here, and I'm going to grab my Surfer here, that I find, there he is. Okay, and I'm going to put it onto Photoshop. Okay, so now and hit OK. Now I've got this graphic into Photoshop, so I'm going to delete this out or at least minimize it. Okay, I've got this really nice surfer, so I'm going to hit Command A. Command A is to select everything. Command C is to copy it. I'm done with that for a minute. I'm going to come here to the Nike logo. Spread this out a little bit here, and I'll bring it up a little bit bigger. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that surfer inside this Nike logo. To do that, we just take our magic wand. Use it's hidden underneath your quick selection tool. And then I'm going to click on each one of these components and hold down shift, which will grab all of the black. Then we're just going to go to edit, paste special, paste into. Now, if you look at this, that's going to be really big, but command T and command zero. Now we're really going to see the surfer. That Nike logo that I found on the internet is just happens to be really small. So it's really pixelated. Okay, kind of looks neat in there though, doesn't it? All right, so here I've got this, this design here. Now if I want it to look better quality than that, let me do this. I'm going to go back in time. Command Option Z, Z, Z. Let's go back in time here before we selected all that. And I'm going to add some pixels to this. So I'm going to go into Image, Image Size, and I'm going to add more pixels to this Nike. It's just too small of a, of a logo. I'm going to bring it up to about 20 so it really adds some pixels to it. Now, a lot of times when you do that, look how soft it got, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just bring it up here, and we're going to say Filter, Sharpen. And on the graphic, it'll actually sharpen it. So I can just go to Sharpen, and I think Unsharpen Mask is going to work the best. Let's just go, I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. This is an old printer's term that we use, and I'm going to just bring it up, and you can see that getting sharper and sharper. Great, so now I've made it really nice and sharp. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my magic wand, click on each component. Now this should be a lot better quality. So I've got it all selected. Now when I paste it in, why is that uh, surfer getting pasted into it? Because remember I brought the surfer up and hit Command A and Command C, which put it to our pasteboard. So now I'm going to go to Edit, Paste Special, Paste Into. And now that graphic won't be nearly as large. I'm going to hit Command T and then Command Zero. And now when I bring this graphic up, check mark, hit Command Zero so you can see it all. Now I've got this cool surfer guy inside here. Great, that's a fun design. Now I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I'm just going to save it as a, I can save it as a Photoshop document, but let's save it as a JPEG for now. So Nike Surfer JPEG on my desktop, yeah, sure, so I can find it. Okay. Now let me show you a fun program that I found on the internet. It's called CustomInk.com. So right away we can hit Design Lab and get started. You're not seeing the whole thing here. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I can just hit get started here. Here I've got a white t-shirt. 
I'm going to put this um, on a different color t-shirt and I can pick all types of colors of shirts. Okay, so let's say I'm going to do a gray shirt and then I'm going to add that art that I made. Browse and get it. So I'm going to hit just um, upload now. Browse. Go to my desktop. And I'm going to grab that Surfer Nike. Probably Nike Surfer. There it is. Upload. So this fun website that they make shirts, we can get an idea. I'm going to confirm the colors on that. We can get an idea now of what this would look like on the front of a, of a t-shirt. Make it kind of the size I want, get it placed where I'd like, across the chest there. So it looks like it's already done, pretty cool design. And if I go, oh, you know, I'd rather put it on the back, I can always upload it for the back. Um, there's lots of fun different uh, shapes and symbols and, and, and things here. Or you can do a search for surfer. Maybe they've got something on surfer. Yeah, they've got a bunch. So maybe on the back, I'll just put this wave. Right up in the top like that. Got this fun wave here. And on the front side it has Nike. So yeah, that's something you like you'd see in a store. So and of course they've got some other fun ones here, but I like that one. It looks pretty simple. All right. So great, I've got the design. Now if I want to copy that to show my client, I can hit Shift Command 4. And once you do that, notice this little this little bullseye here. I can go, I would like to click here to here. And it sounds like it takes a picture and puts that right on my desktop. Okay. Now I'm going to do the back as well. Shift Command 4. Great. So I've got screenshots of that. Now if I want to, to change it here, or if I'd like to maybe add a different um, item. Like let's say I want to, there are different products. And there's tons of different products they have. Let's say a, some kind of neat sportswear. Even hats and things. But... I'm going to come out athletic and find a neat performance wear shirt. Like, uh, yeah, sport tech. And I want to put that on a uh, bright color. Already done. Isn't that neat? And then, of course, on the back, it's got that surfer. So you can always play with the colors. You can edit the item it's on, the color it's on. And you can show a client or, uh, you know, whoever you've made these designs and show you what colors they like and give screenshots to show what the different shirt colors are to go with. Great. So keep designing t-shirts.